I'm fine now, thanks to you, but I can't bear to think that Biggs is still all alone in the cold with Garlean's on his heels. He led the enemy away for my sake, and now he's suffering for it. I hate to have to rely on you again, Sarahs, but do you think you can search for Biggs? I haven't the slightest notion where he might be at the moment, but maybe, just maybe, the people here have seen something? Maybe they have. I uh, didn't need some of my bird. A rugged and gentleman dressed in the same manner as your companion? Sorry, but he did not come by here. Let me think a moment. We're not raise your hopes unduly, but there is a cave situated a short distance to the south. We call it the Fury's Gaze, and it may be worth a while to investigate. I make this suggestion only because your friend seems like a selfless sort. Rather than drawing the enemy to this tower, may have he elected to pass us by. Sounds like something he'd do. A lot of plasmoids here. What the fuck? I don't, I don't think he was here. Oh. Were you able to learn anything? Unfortunately not. This area? Well, that stands to reason, I suppose, seeing as he was trying to lure the Guardians away from me. But where within the vast sea of snow and ice could he be? We can't give up, Sarah. We must find Biggs before he succumbs to the cold or is recaptured. There must be someone in this tower who can help us, even if it's only to tell us where else to look. Ask them for me. Ask anyone who will listen. And hurry! Biggs' chances of survival grow slimmer by the moment. I'm trying, little buddy. I'm trying. Your friend is lost in the wilderness, you say? He's not to be found around here in the vicinity of the dark hole. It's possible he made for White Brim. To reach it, you must travel through Danifin Pass, the southern end of which lies to the north and east of here. While I make no guarantee that your search will bear fruit, it is truly better than worrying in idleness. I wish you luck. Oh, and one, more, one more thing. You tread warily when climbing the stairs here. Not a moon ago I near broke my neck when I slipped and took a tumble. Yes, Chola? There he is. Our orders are to take you back, dead or alive. Which will it be, engineer? Why don't you come and find out, Tin Head? Oh, Sarah, it is well that you're here. The situation is grave. Fix is in a bad way. We need to do something right now. He has the right of it. He will perish if we delay. What to me? He's not alone. Kill them all. 
or we ain't gonna be the ones that are dying. Aha. He saved him. I think another moment and I would have. It's been too long to call him. Let's find shelter for him. What did Matari say? Very well. Eden and I shall bear him there with all haste. I'd be so happy to see Biggs and Wedge again. Oh, I love reunions. Found them, Wedge. Could I thank you enough, Sarahs? And the same goes for the rest of you. Thank you all so much. But don't mention it. You are family, are we not? Well, well, yes, it's just, it's just, I didn't think, I didn't think I'd ever see him again. That was a lot of you in my life. You saved witches too, Sarahs. I'm losing count of how many I owe you. And there he is. Biggs, Wedge, God, it's good to see the two of you again. If it's you, it's really you. In our hearts, we knew you were still alive, but to finally see you in the flesh. When Alpha now told me of the raid on the Waking Sands, I feared the worst. What happened? The enemy struck with nary a warning. We didn't stand a chance. Woj and I were in the workshop when they came. Before we knew what was happening, the Imperials had us at gunpoint. It must have been awful. There's one thing I don't understand, though. How did the Guardians get there so fast? I mean, the Immortal Flame should have seen them coming, right? I myself have asked the same question. That day when I returned to the carnage at the Wicking Sands, I noted not a miss in the horizon. Nothing at all. This is just the passing of an Imperial force. From this, I conclude that the Garleans came neither by land nor by air. Hey, they were born there by potent teleportation magics. Magics of the kind used by the Asians. Carry on. Who we were bound and blindfolded and bundled into the cargo bay of a waiting airship. I can't rightly say how long we were aboard, but when the time came for us to disembark, we were found ourselves in the midst of an Imperial stronghold, Castrum Sentry. Upon arrival, we were marched off into the main complex. Biggs and I were thrown into a detainment cell together with while Minfili and the others were taken elsewhere. 
That was the last we heard from them. Castrum Sentry. What happened next? Well, we were held in isolation for what felt like years, but it was probably moons. Maybe only weeks. And then, without warning, the Imperials collected the pair of us and put us on another vessel. Which we found out was bound to Garlemald. Much to our dread. We knew that if we were taken back there, we weren't likely to leave again. So risky though it was, we sabotaged the ship's altitude control and thereby forced an emergency landing. In the midst of the ensuing chaos, we managed to slip our captors. The rest, as they say, is history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I didn't know better, I'd call that a likely story. Sabotaging the altitude controls of an airborne vessel? That will have been Biggs' handiwork, like as not. You always were resourceful in a tight spot, my friend. Sirs, thank you for returning my dear assistance to me. It would seem I owe you yet another debt of gratitude. There are so many questions in my mind, but the answers can wait. And Philly and the others still want for rescue. All right, you lot. Garland Ironworks is back in business. Let's go and give the Imperials what for. Hurrah! Thanks to you, Biggs and Wedger, with us again. Must find a way to rescue Minfilia and the others. I know we've kept them waiting too long already. Based on what we've learned, I believe it's safe to say they're being held at Castrum Sentry. So let's convene at Revenant's Toll and Mordona. It's a good, it's as good a place as any to prepare. And better than most, the road leading east then south will get you there. When we arrive, let us seek the advice of the local adventurers. We're bound to learn a thing or two that will benefit our mission. Well, my friend, what brings you to Revenant's Toll? Did I hear you rightly? Your friends are being held captive at Castrum Sentry? They want to rescue them? I don't mean to discourage you, but that might prove difficult. The stronghold has been on high alert of late. Armored patrols seen about the perimeter around the clock. Not even a fly could get within a hundred yams of the walls undetected. If the Garleans were alerted to our company, or to our coming, I cannot know what they will do to Minfilia and the others. We must act with the greatest stealth. Aye, it has to be good old fashioned infiltration. Well, security so tight, how are we going to smuggle ourselves in? Why, I have a mind to walk through the front door. Front door? Aye, we'll disguise ourselves as Imperial troops and march right in. For this, we'll need a few sets of Imperial uniforms, a suit of magic tech armor, and impeccable timing. Eh, <laughs> that's a bold strategy, but it just might work. Don't worry. Where, uh, where we are, there's certainly no shortage of opportunities to borrow the equipment. Knowing those Imperial bastards, they won't even subject, suspect that we savage er Eorzeans will think to use their technology. And it's settled. If you're determined to go ahead with this, I'd recommend you speak with Glamont. The fellow's got a personal grudge against the Empire and happens to know a deal about Castrum Sentry besides. I have no doubt that he'd want to be evade. Ida and I shall go to Reconnoiter Garlean Re Recon Garlean activity at the stronghold. It would not do if something were to befall our comrades before we had the chance to act. Come and join us when you're ready, Ceres. Let's do this. Sometimes I wonder, Ida, are there ever times when you're not enthused? I'm nothing of not enthused, Ishtola, and you're beginning to remind me of Papalimo. Looking for a Glamon, are you? Well, you found him, wherever you are. You're looking to get inside cash from Sentry and you need my help? Yeah, something tells me we're gonna get along just fine. I think so indeed. You have friends at cash from Sentry who want to rescue. What want for rescue? That Slathborn knows me too well, I... You can count on my help. Got a score to settle with the Imperials. I never pass on an opportunity to get back at that whore sons. 
But enough about me, let's talk about strategy. Let's go and folk from captivity's right delicate business. A single oversight, just one little blunder, and it's all over. You can't leave any room for uncertainty. For starters, you need to confirm be beyond the shadow of a doubt that your friends friends are where you think they are. You don't want to risk your neck wanting to discover they've been moved elsewhere. But how can you find out, you ask? By following these instructions. If you approach Sentry from the east, you'll see a swampland to your left called the Tangle. Get in there, never mind all the morbles, and navigate your way to the southwestern corner. You'll come upon some drainage pipes coming down from the stronghold. Don't ask me how I know, but one of them leads back up to the command tower. If you listen closely, it might be as you can eavesdrop on some of the happenings within. Once you know for certain your friends are there, we'll move to the next stage of the operation. Now get going, and Godspeed. Right, looks like we're gonna... Like we're, we're planning a heist. Heist to save our friends. Fucked. Get him away from that guy. sound of conversation echoes down the pipe. For the captive, does she still refuse to speak? You may as well be deaf and mute for all the information you've gotten out of her. The others aren't much better. The others don't get on my nerves most of all. Every time he opens his mouth, it's only a spout gibberish. I do wonder, why is the Tribunus so obsessed with the Manfilia woman? They say she possesses some mystical power, something we Garleans don't have. Mystical power? The kind the beastmen use? Am I supposed to bloody know? If you're so curious, why don't you ask the tribunist her yourself? Let's well try to tumble her. I like my head where it is. Thank you very much. Our break is over. Best we get back to our stations. Well, it looks like they're still there. Jeez, but how loud do they speak that we could just hear them all the way from down here? It is good to see you again, Saris. I'm given to understand you have conducted some reconnaissance. Tell me, what were you able to learn? So, Minfili and the others are indeed at Cash from Sentry. The presence thus confirmed, we may proceed with the mission. While you were afield, Sid took the liberty of devising a plan of action. Pray have the details from him. Good work, Cyrus. As Alpha and has already told you, we plotted out a course for the rescue. The gist of it is unchanged. We disguise ourselves as Imperial soldiers and infiltrate the strong. Bulemo is looking into ways to procure a suit of magic tech armor. In the meantime, I need your assistance for some preparation of my own. Infilia and the others are counting on us, Cyrus. Let's not keep them waiting any longer than necessary. Well, Gal well Glamont goes about devising its plan, we need to cease to some preparation of our own. It wouldn't do if the Imperials were to discover that they're short on armor. To prevent this from happening, I'm going to put together a makeshift communications jamming device. The explanation is like to get a bit technical, so bear with me. Imperial forces communicate at a distance via electromagnetic waves. Simply put, voices are borne upon etheric lightning energy that permeates the air. Now the hillside's cluster of corrupt crystals to the west has been observed to amplify the self-same energy. By making use of this property, we should be able to drown out Imperial voices. To ensure that we have enough amplification, we must identify the most potent crystals among the cluster. For this, I need you to go there and use this device to take readings. I'll mark the likely places on your map. Oh, and just so you know, plasmoids are drawn to lightning energy. Don't be surprised if you run into a view. Also, this is a big old mound right here. Somebody made their home here.
Yeah. They have to walk on this stuff. I need some help. Oh, fuck. Curse. Heal up before I do the next one. Is that one that I have any enemies? I did things that I read the yes are the readings excellent here let me see the numbers as for these crystals should suit your purpose so I pray that we won't need or have need of their power I think sirs no problem boss man leveled up God, what is that Clean the wax out of your ears now, because there's something I want you to do by way of preparation. The plans to have you enter Kashim Sentry all decked out in Imperial Duds. The sky is more than just the clothes you're wearing, you also gotta act the part. At the very least, you need to know how to perform a convincing Imperial salute. First impressions are everything, as I say. Could teach you the salute myself, of course, but it's best you learned it from the experts. So get yourself near as you dare to Kashim Sentry and watch the Imperials do, doing what they do. Yeah, you can't see me. Get hit by everything.
Nothing to report, sir. We have received an anonymous warning that insurgent forces are near. We must redouble our vigilance. I shall recommend that patrols be increased. Did it. Learned it. Learned it. Man to learn the Imperial salute? No, no, best you don't demonstrate. I'm liable to fly into a rage and crack skulls. Let's take your word for it. Learn the emote Imperial salute. Hey! You're called Sarah Serene. Yes, I have heard of your plight from my friend Glamour. As a fellow adventurer and son of Eorzea, both, I would offer you my assistance. In order to infiltrate cash from Sentry, you and your comrades must disguise yourselves as Imperial soldiers. The question is how to go about acquiring the uniforms and helms. There are places a man might purchase them, but individuals who deal in such wares are not the sort to whom you would entrust your secrets. It would be more prudent, I believe, to procure what you need via traditional means, from the bodies of their recently deceased owners. The fortified area before cash from Sentry never lacks for Imperial patrols. It ought not take long to obtain three sets of gear, one for each member of the infiltration team. Biggs, Wedge, and yourself. When you have what you need, please return here and allow me to inspect the spot. Right? There we go. Were able to obtain three sets of imperial equipment? That I did, that I did. Damage, as I had suspected, in their present condition, I fear these uniforms and helms are likely to draw suspicion. They must be repaired, if only superficially. Fortunately, the blacksmith's Eganolf at the Diamond Forge in Rowena's House of Splendor should be able to hammer them into shape in no time. I've already sent word ahead and have been assured that he is expecting you. For right now, we have already impressed upon him the need of for utmost secrecy as to the nature of your mission. Yeah?
Hmm. So you're the adventurer Sark Mylark sent. Are you? Been waiting for you. Now let's see what you got for me. I see. Ah, yes. I reckon I can hammer these back into shape for you. After all, I owe your friend Sark Mylark a favor or two. Took good care of old Eganoth back in the days before I fell in with old Rowanoth. He did. Did you know he's the son of one of the filthiest families in the Sultanate? I wouldn't expect someone like that to end up in the life he did, but I suppose he always felt the adventurer's life calling him. But here I go blabbering on when there's work to be done. Just hold your horse birds for a moment or two and the great Eganolf will have your gear looking good as you. There we have it. Won't do you much good in battle, mind you, but from what I hear, that's not your priority anyhow. Who sends Sark Malak my regards for you? Well, thank you kindly. And we had the uniforms and helms repaired? Then I did. As these will serve beautifully. The great Eganov never fails to impress. The quality of these repairs would fool even a Legatus. Thus equipped, you should not have any trouble blending in amongst Imperial forces. Unless you fear that Garleans might detect your foreignness, foreigners in fact form the greater part of the Garlean invasion force in Eorzea. You see, when Empire subjugates new territory, it assimilates the people of that land into its armed force. In turn, these conscripted forces are sent to subjugate faraway lands. This way, Garlemald nips rebellion in the bud and expands its territory in one fell stroke. With that, my part in your mission is done. I am full glad to have been of assistance to your cause. Why would I, a wealthy merchant, wish to help you? I know not where you heard such a tale, but believe me when I say that I am but another humble adventurer, one who desires only to act in the best interests of the realm. Good work getting them Imperial Duds. You'll be pleased to hear I ain't been idle myself. It took me long enough, but I finally hatched a plan to get us a suit of Magitek armor. And from what I've seen, Castrum Sentry deploys a Reaper for most of its patrols. Trouble is, the patrols themselves are irregular, meaning random routes and random deployments, and hardly any of them come anywhere near Revenant's toll. So hoping to coax the Imperials out of their shells, I took the liberty of feeding them a bit of old-fashioned false intelligence. Told them insurgents had designs on their stronghold, far from the truth now I come to think of it. Any road, we should start seeing more patrols than we have up till now. What you need to do is approach one of the patrols dressed up in your shiny tin suit and alert him to the enemy's presence. Having done that, you'll want to lure him as near to Revenant's toll as you can. I guess not though, they'll be wary of venturing far from their walls. If they do need a bit of extra encouragement, use this smoke signal here, filched fresh from an Imperial Scout. They'll come running when they see that and when the cavalry arrives, you hit them hard and make them off with a reaper simple as that. If I ain't mistaken, there's a patrol sweeping the perimeter right now, so run along, eh? Oh, don't forget to salute. The patrol are you? When next you see your commanding officer, tell them that he leads a sloppy unit. But in my lot forgot to salute a superior officer, they would be on their arse fast and okay. Carry on, soldier. Insurgents gathering to the ECSA? Even by your description, they are well beyond the perimeter. But I will not have it said that I was remiss. You return to the scene and keep an eye on those insurgents. Should aught go awry, your smoke signal to call them. I'm guessing I could change back to my stuff.
I hope you don't mind my joining, seeing as we're seasoned advanced weaponry. I thought it'd be a, I thought it best to be on hand. There she is. This is the place, but where's the enemy? They're over there. Send in the Reaper. Let us make an example of these insurgents. Get fucked. That's our very own suit of magic tech armor. Kinda busted though. I'm not wishing to look a gift chuggable in the beak, but it does seem rather the worst for wear, doesn't it? Fix wedge, what's your honor's assessment? Well, there's a fact that she's smoking, of course, but looking past that, I'd say she was structurally. Unlike the way these legs are buckled, I hate to say this, but the servo mechanism may be damaged. Hey, yeah, but aren't those things usually protected by elm thick armor plate? They are, yes, it's odd. The occasion doesn't seem to have taken a blow. I suspect we're dealing with a faulty part. Hi, Kuro. Hello, Mad World. How are you? So whatever it is we're dealing with, we're not resting till it's fixed. Not one week of sleep. You got that, Wedge? Oh. <laughs> Let the poor lad sleep. I heard that. A hall has been set aside for our use in Revenant's Toll. That's where we'll carry out the repairs. Look for us there, Sarahs. Don't mention it. Me, Mado. Oh, hello. Just warn you. Did you change your name again? Did, or did you change it like one time? It was always been Mad World. Doing good. Just going through homework right now. Trying to bust through this grind fest. Wait, not homework, Heaven's Ward. I don't want that homework. The Heaven's Ward? Roger, take armor, sit, and the other stuck in the side. Go on in and join them. We've now had time to take a closer look at the Reaper. Her preliminary diagnosis was correct. She's structurally sound, but her several mechanism is faulty. You didn't worry though, Biggs and Witch will see her restored to her former glory in no time at all. Give those two something to mend and they will think of not else till the job is done. It's a marvelous thing to behold, provided you remind them to visit the privy. 